All right, today we're talking about how to watch the cross on Scrapyard Search and Destroy. This time we're moving on to a little bit of a smaller map. It's in the competitive map pool right now, but honestly, I have heard possibilities of it getting removed. So I figured I'd still make this video pretty early just in case it doesn't, and we still end up playing it later on. It's a really important cross compared to the other two ones, the Terminal Invasion ones. By the way, if you haven't seen those already, check those out on the YouTube channel. They're really useful in terms of getting information and playing off of that information. But in Scrapyard specifically, this cross spot is so important because of how many gunfights we're actually going to be seeing taking place on that cross spot. Because of the distance of the cross, you're actually going to see a lot of teams take that gunfight. So you're going to see a lot of, you know, let's say hot zones of kills and deaths between the two sides on this specific cross spot. So this one's going to be probably the most important just because of the ability to actually get kills on this cross. So just like the other videos, I'm going to take a tour of the map, show you some of the spots. Then we'll go look at some pro clips. And then lastly, we'll take a look at the overhead breakdown and we'll draw it out for you guys. All right, so this is probably the smallest s and map that we've had in quite a while so it is really straight up in terms of the lanes and that's why it's so important for this cross to be watched because on this defensive side you're going to get a lot of info in terms of what the offense is going to be trying to do initially in this round and since everything is pretty much watchable or can be covered in some type of way uh, there's not so much the offense can do without being seen uh, by the defense so you can actually really utilize this cross spot to get some good info so we're starting here in the defensive spawn this is actually a pretty bad spawn for it usually you spawn a little bit more to the left i believe but to watch this cross it's it's the easiest thing all you need to do is stand right here and you're going to be able to see if anyone crosses from that right side to the left side towards going to the a because they're going to spawn all the way in that back right corner so basically all you need to do is cover this cross over here what you can do you can either lay prone you just want to make sure that you're angling yourself so that this part of the plane is actually covering you just a little bit more just so you have a little bit more cover in case they do start trying to tell you out from the other side so what you can do here is you know angle yourself you're going to see all this info even if they go through the bricks building over here it's probably a safer route for them but you're still going to be able to see them uh, cross for the offense it'll probably just be easier uh, to go through that if they don't want to get shot and just don't have the risk of getting killed that way but honestly all you need to do is really just hold this lane down what you can do is actually team shot this with another player if you want to actually guarantee a kill uh, for the most part you're probably going to get shots off you might get a kill here but most likely uh, you'll need two people to actually guarantee that kill what you can also do off spawn is if you want to take a different angle is you can go to this white heady over here and you can hold this angle off as well. So if, let's say you pair it up with someone else watching uh, this A cross, you can be on this white wall. It's a little bit of a better heady and you get an angle on the mid cut over here. So if anyone on the offense is trying to take a different angle to try and contest this cross, let's say they're on offense and trying to contest this cross, you know, rather than actually contesting it this way, they can take this middle route and then come over here, take a little bit of different angle, maybe trying to surprise anyone watching the cross that way and try and kill them uh, contesting over here rather than deeper or if you want you can team shot on this side with having one guy deep and one guy close and trying to guarantee the kill there if there's only one guy watching the cross on the defensive side so once again you're going to see a lot of gunfights in this area if we do play it competitively just because of the distance between the two because you're going to see that cross but you can actually also get shots down and also possibly get kills uh, so it is a really important spot on this map and like I was saying on the invasion map, if snipers are allowed this year, we're going to be seeing snipers all day watching this cross. You're going to be seeing kills go down with those snipers. You might even see collats. A lot of times if players line up, you will be seeing uh, collaterals if they're trying to cross towards a side. So a sniper will be really, really important on this map if we do play it. So that's the main cross on that defensive side. I guess you can watch the cross uh, from A to B uh, on offense this way. But on that defensive side, many people aren't going to be crossing to play on that B side. And if you try and use this truck as a heady, that can get nated so you can explode there uh, so if you wanted to like prone back here but then you're exposed to top three so honestly uh, you're not really going to be seeing a lot of people watching the cross from the offensive side so it's mainly just this defensive side cross uh, you're going to be seeing gunfights all day on here and what's really good about this cross spot on the defense is that you don't have to take a lot of time to actually do it you know once at the start of the round you instantly get to it and then you can start doing whatever you want with the round if you want to pair up with a teammate later on or if you want to watch something else you can really option to something else pretty quickly with the other maps you kind of need to hold something for a little bit and then you'll have to rejoin later on with your team but this you can pretty much instantly rejoin with your team uh, because it's right off spawn and it's such an easy line of sight for you and you're not really wasting time at all doing this uh, at the beginning of the round all right so this is a clip of dashi's stream he's doing it in this snd tournament what you're going to see is he's going to throw a trophy first off for anyone uh, on his team that might be trying to cross towards the a side so they're not getting easily nated from the offense trying to get to that a site and then he's just going to start holding this cross making sure that anyone 
uh, that might be crossing towards A will get shots on or he gets that info and he doesn't see anyone cross there. So now you can give that info to the player that rushed towards that A side. It makes sure that he's safe over there and he can start making plays because he knows no one crossed towards that A site. So he has some freedom to roam uh, towards this A side. So what he can do now is help his teammate watch towards this middle plane over here. So again, he can option off to other things. He's going to stun this mid cut to make sure that no one was rushing that mid cut to try and take a different angle. And now he can nade towards that B side because he doesn't see anyone towards this A side. So uh, you do have those options after you watch the cross, you can start helping your team in other ways. Now he's going to go towards this A side where his other teammate was already pushed up and they know no one is over here. So they're going to try and make a play towards the side of the map. And now he's going to go towards this white wall spot, the other spot. He gets a lot of shots off, probably should have killed that guy. But uh, honestly, he gets that shots off, but he now is able to push up to this forklift where his other teammate actually died. And because he gets pushed up here, he sees this other guy crossing towards that B side. But you know, honestly, he probably should have got that kill. But once again, sometimes the shots don't go your way and he does get that guy weak. So he backs him off just a little bit. So we'll move on to Kenny watching this cross now. He's gonna prone and check this cross. He does see someone slide over towards that crane side. So it is kind of hard to hit those shots if they slide or dive across the cross. So you want to make sure that you're at least getting that info. So now he knows uh, that one guy did cross so he can start nading it like he does here and he can start helping out Shotzi. He gives him a trophy uh, and starts taking another angle to try and help him uh, towards this crane side. So they know this guy is here and now they can play for him. Okay, now we'll move on to the offensive side, give you a little look on what it looks like when someone's contesting this cross. So Brandon here, he's going to be contesting the A cross. And as you'll see here, he doesn't see anyone watching the cross on the defensive side. So this allows him to gain some space. And now he can use this heady and start playing for anyone that might be going towards this A side a little late. Uh, and now they get this initial positioning after getting that kill and they can start pushing forward. So if you don't see anyone on that cross while you're trying to contest it, you can start taking some space on that side of the map because they're giving it up. So move on to the top down overhead breakdown. And once again, we're starting on this defensive side. The spawn's actually going to be inside this building over here. So all you're going to do is go to the left over here. You can prone. You can use this wall as a little angle for yourself to make sure you're covered just a little bit more. And all you're doing is watching down this entirety of the cross to make sure that everyone, whether they're going through the building or whether they're just crossing this way, or even if they're trying to take the middle cut cross this way, you're meeting with them at these specific points and making sure that you have all that info going towards uh, this A site. So you're making sure that you know where those players are at. If they're not towards that A side, you can start stunning, nading this middle plane or over here in this middle cut, making sure you have as much info as possible. But because it's such a small map, technically all you need to do is watch this cross and then use the other tacks with your team to make sure that you're pretty much clearing everything on the map because of how small it is. With all of your tacks and with watching the cross like this, you should be able to use deduction to base off where they're playing at. And you can use that to your advantage in terms of actually trying to make a play or deciding what to do in the middle of the round. And like I was saying before, you have options on what you want to do after you watch the cross at the beginning of the round. You can go towards this A side, maybe play this white wall and play the cut over here, making sure you're watching the cross from that angle, but you're still closer to the A and you can actually see this mid cut a little bit more. You can, you know, help your team out towards the B side if you know it's a B push. You can even help out towards the middle plane like this and watch over a player that might be, you know, rushing towards this mid plane. So you're watching over him in case anyone is contesting from this side, trying to get a kill there. So you have a lot of options. And because it's so early in the round that you're actually watching this cross, you can do any one of these and you can really just help you out your team that way. So making sure you watch the cross should be a staple because it is so easy to do at the beginning of the round because you're literally right next to spawn doing it. And you can basically do whatever the team needs you to do after watching that cross. Or, you know, sometimes you might be just playing a regular spread with your team and they might just have you watching the cross basically the entire round until kills go down. So you might as well just hold that down with your team if you're playing that type of spread because you're constantly just going to try and get info at the beginning of the round. And once again, with a spread, you're trying to make a play later on in the round based on the info you get. So honestly, you could technically just watch it throughout the entirety of the round before those kills go down and before your team starts making plays. So that's how to watch the cross on Scrapyard. You know, pretty basic, pretty simple. It's literally just watching a lane off spawn uh, but it's really really important in terms of getting info and trying to make plays on this map because it is so small and such a small map allows you to use deduction to clear out where enemies could possibly be in the round so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoy this video thank you guys for making it to the end of the video and i'll see you guys in the next one